Hi guys, this is Team Spyra. We have posted this quick start guide for the initial setup of your brand new Epic Spyra 2. First, make sure you have charged up your Spyra 2 for at least 5 hours before using it for the first time. Right next to the on off button is the charging port for your included USB C cable. When plugged in for charging, the display shows the battery status, the Spyra 2 will switch off automatically when fully charged to 100%. Switch on your Spyro 2 by pushing the button right below the handle of your trigger and the display will light up. During the water battle, your Spyro 2 display will show the number of shots primed and the status of your tank fill. The Spyro 2 pumps water automatically. Just dip the front of the Spyro 2 in a water source and push the trigger away from you. Now watch the magic happen as the display shows you how fast the Spyro 2 fills itself up. Shoot individual water blasts by pulling the trigger towards yourself. Three regular blasts are primed and ready to shoot at a time. Each shot needs 1.1 seconds to reload after being released. Hold the trigger for 3 seconds to release a power shot. It's in the name, so best try it out yourself. Make sure to safely store your Spyro 2 after a water battle. For this, your water gun must be completely empty. After your water volume drops to 0%, pull the trigger towards yourself for roughly 5 seconds. Then release and two dashes will appear on your display. Your Spyro 2 is now ready for storage. In case your Spyro 2 shows any kind of small malfunction or it does not function as supposed to, please perform a reset. To do this, push the on-off button for 6 seconds straight until you see two flashing brackets appearing on your display. Then, perform a regular shot by pulling the trigger as usual. Some water may unexpectedly spill out the Spyro 2 when you do this. The reset is complete when battery and fluid level both light up. This is all from Team Spyro for now, so have a blast with your Spyro 2 and until next time!